Hello Panda YouTube, welcome to today's video. You guys know Summit happened, right? That's right, Smash Ultimate Summit, which is this huge invitational event, just happened last weekend, and guess what? Leo didn't win. I know, it's crazy, I feel like he wins everything. But no, this one was actually won by Spargo. Spargo had an amazing run at Summit, proving he might just be the best player in the world. So we're gonna watch some of his best sets from the tournament. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Using cloud over ages. Thank God I'm alright. <laughs> Who else was so glad that Spargo went cloud instead of Aegis? Aegis is such a snooze fest. Spargo plays um Cloud and you know Pyra and Mithra. Um but he's been opting for Cloud a lot more lately, which a lot of people didn't think was gonna be as effective as it has been. The fact that he made it back is insane. Doesn't matter because he died anyway. Ew. I think you got a DI like down there and you still might go a little back, but hopefully you don't uh, go off stage. Dude, I don't care if you're the worst cloud in the world or the best one. That up be out of shield. God, that's annoying to get hit by. Oh my God. Dude, that's a desperate air dodge from Leo. He doesn't normally go for this, but I guess Spargo's bluffing. Spargo's on the platform to try to force something. Like, Spargo's just making really good decisions right now overall. I mean, he got, he's getting edge guarded, but uh, it's cloud. It still happens sometimes. I love it when he just starts swinging, dude. <sighs> Respect that. Look, he's off stage as Cloud. He, he, you'd think most people would just get back on stage, just play it safe. No, he's already going off for the edge guard, and... Shockingly, that miss. Man, that nair from Smash 4. What a fall from grace. <laughs> well, he went for the shield break there. Look at that percent. There's limit. This is bad. Like, I wouldn't like the situation here. This is so cool. Watch what Leo does here. I know this is a video about Spargo, but watch. You force air dodge with the arrow. He has to air dodge it, right? Because reacting to that in this kind of situation is tough. So he does neutral air dodge. But she gives Leo time to cancel it and then go down there and forward it. That's so good. That's so cool, dude. What a fun game. Oh, no jump. Well, it's Violet. Cloud's still not really an edgeguarding character unless you're going to, like, SD, basically. Or, like, full hop edgeguarding, but you're not going to go low on edgeguard. Considering how, like, much Leo was winning that game and Sparkle brought it super close, that, that was, like, a good sign. I was like, oh, man, if Sparkle, like, plays cleaner at the beginning, like, he's going to do really well. Spargo looks like the only player that's as good as MK Leo at keeping the opponent in the corner. He's just getting through hits. Like, Leo's swinging, but... Oh my god, that air dodge is perfect. He air dodges through, and then he's perfectly spaced for this. Jeez! By a hair! How is he avoiding all that? And then he misses the shield crab. <laughs> All right, Spargo has so much momentum now. Oh my God. Hasn't even used the limit. Surely we get a cross slash soon. Oh, he has no jump. He could have just up beat. He could have just up beat him. Like, he could have just gone off stage. He could have just up beat him. Just boop, boop, he's dead. These guys cover each other off ledge so well. Spargo just swings. <laughs> How long was he sitting on that? He saw his limit. He knew he had the time to pop it and then see Leo shielding, and then jump with him. That's so huge. He was actually thinking several steps ahead here. There's, there's, surely Leo doesn't bring this back. I know he's Leo, but there you go. Jeez. Chop down the middle. Oh, small battlefield. What? Leo, what? That's not a Leo thing to do. Having an answer to Leo's neutrals is a very, very important win. Yeah, it's it's honestly the number one thing against Leo. You need something against the neutral air. But Leo keeps giving him neutral air every time he jumps. Oh my god, once Spargo gets the momentum, he puts the pressure on. Look at that. That's that tomahawk again. <laughs> Leo thought he was going to space another forward air, and no, just grabs him. What a down tilt whiff punish, though, by Leo. God. That was 53. And he uses the blade beam to get to the ledge safely, which is better than just trying to upbeat the ledge because then you can be two frame. 
Another tomahawk Spargo. Oh my god, who needs the gigantic two meter long sword? All Cloud needs is his human little hands. He's just grabbing him. That's so bold. Watch him. He jumps high, and instead of, like, going for stage or going to the other platform or retreating, he drifts in onto a platform. Like, right under the platform. That's bold. With a, with a reverse forward air. Why would you do that? What a madman. And then he got up B, and then he wins this game. How the hell does he win this game? What does he do? Dude, I thought that was game, and so did Spargo. Watch him in the player cam. This looks guaranteed. Look at this. I'm shocked it wasn't. He, like, put his head down. I thought that back air landed, but that one did. And this is the game. God. Why are these dudes getting so good? Like, what an empty jump, because the, the last game ended with Leo getting shield poked, so then he knows that Leo's going to, like, shield or try to parry or something, and, and Spargo just says, no, I'm going to grab you, not even get you in the situation. You have to constantly be mixed up. Wow. Is that like... He dropped it after the first multi-hit. Look, Leo thought it wasn't going to be a multi-hit F-Smash because why would Spargo go for that there? He probably thought it was a forward tilt or like a jab or something. But no, drop shield and you're getting hit by the other two hits. Oh, that was so good. Leo's so good, dude. Spargo's so good. This is like... When you're really able to break it down and analyze it this like this, obviously in the moment in commentary, we notice some things, but we don't notice all of this. It's a different world, dude. That didn't hit. How did that not hit? That, that hit him. That hit him. Just saying. Leo's looking like he's going to take this game. The normal game for Leo stuff, right? He wins this? How the fuck does he win this? Uh-oh. And here we go. Spargo. Making it back with the limit. This is all so good. And then he cross slashes to stop Leo from going for anything. Air dodge is back. Oh, and we know how he takes it. The back air run off and do it. My God. Unbelievable. Everybody on the couch freaks out. He up bees and lives. And then he stalls here. Look at this. Look at this stall. He goes for the forward air. He is, he is pixels. Pixels away from his foot. And he would have been there if he didn't stall. Alright, now we have grand finals. Spargo needed to beat Leo to make it here. We're versed in light. So this is just Spargo trying to space back air and neutral air. Uh, while not letting light just go crazy on him. Damn, light went for it all with the forward air drag down. Oh, so close to hitting too. I love this stall from light here. So you jump, and you think that Cloud's going to just, you know, uh, jump off, second jump down air, right? Because he's holding ledge. If he jumps off here, he might get tagged by that shine. Bob, see, like, that's how you should be edge guarding. If, if you can't get out there and, like, back air or something. Dude, getting a star KO at, as Cloud must feel so good. Look at this limit charge. He starts it with, like, a fourth. Star KO lasts so long. He got it basically full. Unreal. I love how Spargo does that. Snapping to the ledge by just using the up B right next to it. Like, he even jumped to get into the perfect position to hit Light Shield, but immediately snapped the ledge. Just those tiny little things shows the character mastery here. See, and that's what you have to do. Like, this is literally what you have to do versus Light, is you have to literally... Just be like, you're gonna jump here and just off smell. Like, you have to just raw call him out. Like, there's nothing else to do. What a slow grab. Spargo, we gotta work on your reaction time, buddy. Look at this. Come on. Surely we could hit that button faster. Uh oh. Fox is running a bit of a train. He lives. Damn, good spacing by light, but the forward tilt's at the ledge. Huge call out there. Light doesn't often uh, go on stage, but it's kind of a heat check, and I think it's because uh, Spargo did that limit. So Light thought he was safe, but he clearly was not. He tried doing dash attack several times last uh, set, just didn't work up till. Yeah, you gotta respect it. What a blade beam. Dude, Spargo's playing ridiculously well. I would have said that he wins here regardless. 
Spiker kind of looking like he's going to win this tournament. <laughs> so, uh, all throughout this bracket, whenever Light got to 110, 120, 130, he would immediately get a kill. And that's the thing about Fox, right? Is that Fox can do that, but he needs the setup. And if he doesn't get the setup, people live to 140, 150. Spargo lived a while. Obviously, there he died at like 140. That's really the key. And up here? Yeah, I would have done something similar. Dude, that F tilt on ledge is so fing good. Like, it's so, it's so deceptively good. Like, that's so obnoxious to deal with. Damn, Light is playing so good as well. Come on, let's see this limit. I want to see a finishing touch or something. Oh, okay. Just a finishing slash. He's skinning that fox. Nice back throw. Nice. What a setup here. Back throw, threaten back air. Like, feels like he has to pick early. There's a lot of threatening from Spargo. I, I, showed, I, I showed it off in the Leo thing, too. It's like you jump out, people feel like they have to pick an option. He could have just drifted low and gone to ledge. And obviously, Spargo may have had a contingency, but it doesn't matter. Boom, 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 boom. He's dead. 30 seconds in. All right, if Spargo can get a bit more damage on this stock, I think it might be lights out for light. Oh, shit. That was so good. What? What? That was broken. What? Okay, it wasn't a true combo. I thought it was a true combo. Okay, 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 Oh, yep, and another preemptive back air, or forward B. Yeah, light was just too fast, dude. It's so, it's so, yeah, he did it immediately at a hit stun and dive for it. And that's it. Good job, Spargo.